Welcome data leaders to Insight Builder channel. We are going to talk about variables. They are objects in Python. Understand variable first. Variables are addresses like how you and I have addresses. Variables have simply values inside them and they give the address to those values or data or file whichever whichever thing that they are stored in. In Python, variables are little more capable. They take the properties of those things that they store. And variables can store any kind of digital coded information. Basically, what I'm saying is any kind of data. Why I am saying digitally coded information is because data can represent that is anything physical but here variables can only store something that has been converted to digital so that's why i'm being very specific but what problem does the variable solve as i told that programmers don't create anything that doesn't solve a problem so variables solve certain type of problem in python and that is variables have to solve have to represent something in the physical world as a digital idea inside the inside the uh, processor and python compiler the data can be uh, as simple as an integer or it could be as complicated as a physical database information or your location or your or some spacecraft's information whatever those physical things it must be able to store it as a simple variable as i had as i am explaining you can think that variable can is capable of storing everything and anything then how does python handle it in order to solve this python uses something called as templates in the regular jargon it is called as class in python you can create classes we will be going into object oriented programming where we will be talking about classes and even a lot of time we will be talking about see these classes before that also and whatever these classes create they are called as objects in python language do not confuse the objects that you uh, see in the real world we are not talking about that when we say object in this course in this videos it represents that it is a digital variable it is not anything physical okay keep this in mind and these objects are created by using a template let me go to the next slide here are the example we have four variables here first three variables are pretty straightforward you see variable one uh, var one is 100 on the i'm talking about the box in the top left we see that there are three variables 158.6 and hello where one uh, flt1 and var2 thus that is straightforward if you look at the top right box you will see that the values are 158.6 and hello there is no any kind of a change in whatever we are giving it as input the same as comma as output the challenge comes in var3 you see that the var3 has something called as weather and and inside the brackets it has something called as temp equal to 10 when you read this we can actually you know assume that it is something related to weather and the temperature is could be 10 but look at the output it says clearly the output as printed as temperature equal to 10 degrees celsius what happened inside this weather object that gave the output as temperature equal to 10 degrees celsius this is what i am telling that based on the input given based on the input given to the variable the variable itself can have certain different capabilities this kind of capabilities can be programmed in python and that is called as using templates in python programming language when you start using uh, when you start programming we will call that as class at this moment do not worry about that 
looking at the various templates that these very uh, these uh, variables uh, had so first one was integer second was decimal third was string and finally the fourth was a custom class these variables can do something right integer can do integer operations decimal can do decimal operations string can do string operations but whether what kind of operations can it do this is something that again we are going to delve into deep delve deeper later in these videos at this moment we are going to only concentrate on these three objects integer float and string in this video we are going to look at how to create these variables first thing the objective is to write a script that prints the variables that are integer decimal strings separately and then together the objective is little confusing here what is meaning of separately and then together how can we join integers and strings together how to join decimals and integers together this is something that we will learn as we go along in this video first of all we need to find the command for creating the variables how to create them if you go up and see you see creating the integer float and uh, strings did not have any kind of uh, you know specific function or any kind of specific keyword to create them you just gave the number and it seems as if it got created this kind of variable creation is called as dynamically typed language meaning the compiler itself will find out what this value is whether it is an integer or whether it is a string it can find out you can also force the compiler to change the type of this values if you can give a separate functions that is one step ahead of us at this moment we are going to just create variables and print them first point we have already found so to create the variables that are integer uh, okay the variables are created by simply assigning the values to to a english character word or a sentence so what this means english character word or a sentence so this is an english character v is an english character and this is a word where one is a word this can also be a sentence you can say where one is 100 equal to 100 you can still do that in python there is nothing wrong and people still do it as you go uh, advanced into python and look into artificial intelligence and machine learning reinforced learning kind of a uh, modules you will see the variable names are very long and it is very specific to what the variable store in this way the programmers who are trying to read the program and understand will face little trouble they will find it more easy to just go through the program as if they are reading english prose this is how you create the variable it is straightforward no questions there there is no any any great difference there now comes the second objective to find the command to print the variable in the first video in the video before this where we introduced uh, our first program we use print command we use print command to print hello world but did you know that python had a lot of built-in functions and you can easily find that out all you need to do is go to this link just right click on this copy it and if you go to the internet explorer let me go to the internet explorer now and paste this link and you will see that you will get the all the built-in functions that we are talking about this functions i really i seriously urge you to look into each of these functions one by one and understand even if you don't understand what this functions does i would like you to just scroll through the uh, page which has been provided on this functions just go through the pages once you go through you will find some or the other thing that is meaningful to you in like that you can learn slow and steadily about lot of things in python 
it is about exploration and research okay in this built-in functions we can immediately find there is a function called print this is what you are looking for so click that let me go back to my presentation for a moment if you go back to my presentation i had actually put a red circle over that this is called i am print but print all the function like all the functions in python will have a signature you will be wondering okay what is this signature going back to the internet explorer if any of the function will have a specification that what will be the input of this function what will be the output of this function and the inputs will have named keywords so separate scp end file flush objects are all keywords what we are going to do now is we are going to understand how to use these keywords and to print our variables that is our end result of this video let me go to the presentation again we have to test the commands how to even test where to test so the easiest way easiest place to test is your command line interface we have already set up our python programming interface all we need to do is go to command prompt like the terminal that i have in front of me okay before we start i have already uploaded all the data related to the uh, this course that i am going to update also into the github repo before we continue going to the code i will also introduce that so that you will be aware what is going on if you go to the link github.com inside inside builder let me let me yeah show that yeah github.com inside builder slash python de learners data you will see that the resources presentations and code script and notebooks everything is updated here so you see the uh, document here these are all python scripts the first script hello.py is the uh, script that we created in the earlier video the video before this and uh, now we are looking at printing the variable this is the uh, this file is for this video now let us go back to the terminal we are going to check how to work with the python variables python, how to print the python variables so inside the terminal you need to you have to git clone the uh, repo so if you have seen my earlier videos you can you will know how to git clone so you have to use git clone and you have to give the uh, the link name the repo link and once you give it like this and you can clone the entire repo to your local operating system after that you can work inside that you need to change directory inside that and work from there i will tell you why i am telling this specifically later so let us first start the python interpreter once i do that you will say i am into python what i am going to do is i am going to create two variables i am going to create x equal to 100 okay i have created x equal to 100 and second y equal to 50.5 so i have created two different variables now the third variable i am going to make it as var equal to hello i have created the third variable I need to first of all check the basic print function what happens if I use I don't know anything about print function I I have the signature here but still I don't understand what objects does what separator does and what end and what file or flush does I don't know anything I have not read that also so let me go ahead and start working on the terminal so first and foremost I am thinking okay let me put a simple x and see what happens i just do that i get an output i don't see any problem but now i use the print x and i say separator is equal to i am giving a separator of comma and i see there is no difference still no difference but 
what I do is next time I actually put the other variable also and then I put the separator here and I press enter and then you see the magic happen you see all the three variables are getting printed and then it is separated by a comma now I will remove the separator and see what happens aha we see that the comma is missing so it means the variables are getting printed in the same line it is not getting printed in the next line but now there is an exercise which tells you to print the variables in different different lines if you want the print to happen in the line in the next line you have to give a new line command in in print function you can do that by using you can do that by using the end command and you give this you give this uh, uh, symbol oh sorry if you give this uh, give this value to end it will actually convert into new line so the new line is not useful in the terminal because terminal all the values are printed out to standard out whatever print so okay let me execute this the value 100 got printed here now if i go back and if i if i execute y it will print 50.6 by default it is printing in a different line but let me see what happens if i do both x and y okay that was a mistake so if i if i put something which is not there it will come like this but i still see that i am getting both the variables in the same line but then what is the point of using uh, uh, point of using this new line character what happens in the reality is if you are going to use the print statement like this say for an example i use another one print statement then you will see you will get a syntax error so why is the end line end used where the end is used end is used when you are going to put it inside the script when you are using it on the terminal this will not work as you saw when i am working on the terminal i am getting lot of errors this is how you actually test the functions to understand what goes on let me go back to the uh, let me go back to the repo and inside the repo i have code script and notebooks folder inside that i have python scripts i will go there and there i have placed my print variable dot py script now what i'm going to do is i'm going to execute the entire script i'm going to say python and i'm going to say printing print underscore variable dot py you saw the name got filled automatically that is by using tab key that is a purpose i actually go inside the folder so once i am inside the folder you can use these uh, benefits that you get by using the shortcut keys so let me execute python printing underscore variable dot py you see it has printed a lot of things and there are a couple of places where you are actually a little confused how come there are there is actually string and after that the variable value and also the string is coming in middle of the variables also uh, middle of the sentences also what is happening here this is what i told us printing together and separately in the first the variables have been printed separately okay so you see the space and you see the comma here so i have tested how it works but then you see this space here this is because of the new line that we gave because of the end equal new line once i give this python will create a space before it prints the next next value that is why it is called as new line character that is the purpose of this end this is how we actually explore the functions and then create a script out of it so let me show the script that was created if you click on uh, if i use the cat command and if i execute it you see i the the entire uh, 
script is shown here along with the comment at the top and then the variable I have created x equal to and x equal to 26 and y equal to 57 and I have taken a series of steps. So I have first printed them without any kind of uh, extra keywords and then I have used the separator keyword and then I have used separator keyword along with end and once I used end you will see that it created a new line extra line this one using the end keyword use end keyword so if you see here using end keyword with hyphen n and you will be wondering okay you are seeing i you are seeing that there is a using n keyword with slash n in the program but here there is no slash n what happened to that when print is done when the printing is done to the standard output whatever you are seeing whatever values you are seeing here it is printed on the standard output in programming jargon standard output means your terminal these are all things that uh, comes by learning uh, continuously about programming and trying to read about various books it can be learned through uh, watching videos also so uh, this is one of the benefits that i got once i started uh, seeing uh, youtube videos so coming back to the concept here second as, a, as we go forward go further down we see that we are also printing with with the string along with value x and then string and value y and with the separator all these things are possible but the major point comes in the last two print last four print statements we are actually using something called as format with a dot operator what is happening in this place this is a concept that introduces us the power of the python language the this entire uh, snippet is actually string it is actually a simply a string but the string can have some capabilities one of the capabilities of a string is that it can be formatted so string has a function or we should say in this case it is a method that it can format the values inside the string that is what has happened here so by using this curly brace curly brackets and using this format function we can assign the variables in into the string assign these variables x y x plus y into the locations here 0 1 2 like that that is the purpose of dot format the next is much more interesting instead of using dot format you can use the f keyword like this and with quotes it can be with double quote triple quote or single quote if you use f here you can put the variables right into these curly braces and then it will print if you go up you will see that i have printed sum of 26 and 57 is 83 this is using format and sum of 26 and 57 is 83 this is using f both these things was possible what i want you guys to do now is that do the same exercise the way i created went through the entire process by opening the python command prompt open that and exp experiment with the print function and then type out this entire program in your own notepad or uh, text editor and then execute it in your in your uh, operating system the most important point is that you type it by yourself because there will be lots of errors that comes in when you type and you need to be more fluent with your typing so do that out do that and see how it works out next we will be seeing how to move these data that is printing here in the standard output to files that will be the next most powerful activity that we'll be doing because once you move it to files then you can move the files as a mail to anybody or you can store the files in github we can do a lot of stuff with files we are going to look into that so before that i would like to recap let me go back to the presentation let me go back to the presentation uh, we have already seen we have already seen how to create the script and 
execute it. We have printed and learnt a lot about variables in this 25 minutes of uh, presentation. Experiment with that. Understand these functions that uh, is there already in the uh, in the internet, Internet Explorer, in the web browser. If you go and give this link, you will get the various uh, functions that are built into Python. This is something that you have to research and understand. And do ask questions about these functions. Because the more you ask questions and try to explore, you will, you will find a world of information from that. And then we also worked on understanding what is templates and why using templates is a powerful way to work in a programming language. So with this, stay tuned for the next video where we will introduce files and file operations and input output operations. See you then. Take care.